So you have these parents that's very upset about their children dealing with some anti-black racism in the Wentzville, Missouri, you know, their school district. Let's go ahead and roll that. This is my baby. You understand? Like, my job as a parent is to protect my kids. Laisha Moore got choked up while recounting how her daughter is being called racial slurs on the school bus. Now this mom fighting for accountability. And the fact that she has to put in her headphones to try to drown them out, it's not okay. Her child is a senior at Timberland High School in the Wentzville School District. My niece gets on the bus and she hears the words, I hate N-words. How much more bold could you be? Tamira King is her aunt and also has a daughter in the district. Her very first day riding the school bus, the first thing she hear, oh my God, here comes another color person. First day. Do you know how hard that was for her? Nerve wrenching. It is heartbreaking and it's disturbing and I'm tired of it. It's not one time that she was referred to as the N word. It's multiple times a week. The pair says despite reaching out to school officials, they have not given them a call or given a severe enough punishment like removing the students from school. Our kids are being attacked. The children that were responsible for that from my understanding, we're given in-school suspension and a few days off the bus. They're going to keep doing it because nobody's doing anything about it. See, stories like this over the years is why I have always prioritized, you know, my child not being in school with the folks like that. Well, they're controlling everything because our black children are not protected. They, come, they may say all day, oh, we don't tolerate discrimination and racism, but they do tolerate it because look at the response to it. They don't do anything about it at all. I don't want to subject my child to that kind of abuse. If I can prevent it, and matter of fact, I'm going to prevent it. It's a parent, it's my job. I got to work hard as I can to make sure to keep my child in places where she's protected. Now I understand that of course, living in America, I can't shield her from everything but I can shield her long enough where I can teach her how to deal with anti-black racism, how to combat it, how to, you know, approach it. And then when she is uh, approached with it, she knows how to deal with it. Because one thing that I'm not going to allow is definitely my little nine year old not know how to fire back off. If she ever deal with any kind of issue and problem like that. And at the same time, when you, these schools don't do anything, and you quick to put lawsuits on them, or they know not to play with you. That's when you start getting them to do things real quick because they always expect us as black people to not have a way to fight back. You understand what I'm saying? So to these parents, you know, because you know this and they're not doing anything, file a lawsuit. File a federal lawsuit on them for violating the Civil Rights Act because you, those children should not be subjected to this and the school does nothing about it. Those children should be expelled for the rest of the year, period. But they have free reign to do this because they know there's no consequences to anti-black racism because the administration is not going to do a thing about it. If black people will start filing federal lawsuits every time this happened, trust me, when they start costing them money and start costing them jobs constantly, they'll know to leave us alone. We shouldn't just not only expose it, but we also should do something about it because if we never do nothing about it. They're going to keep doing it. And, and the white supremacists, you got to understand about them. They don't learn their lesson until they suffer a consequence of the action lawsuits, you know, jail time, loss of business, loss of reputation, like something got to happen to them for their racism. So you do yourself a disservice as a black person. If you don't file a lawsuit, Anytime you know, you can clearly see that you have one consult an attorney say, Hey dude, is this a violation of the civil rights act? And if it is sue.